Before we get into the video, do not forget that I am hosting another giveaway if we hit 6,000 subscribers before the 2nd of April. It will be another crossout pack for you guys, for all my followers. We'll be hosted on Gleam again. Get subscribing if you haven't done it already. And also on Discord right now, giving away a bunch of CD keys for random games that I have lying around. So if you want to win that pack, come to the Discord and you can see more right there. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Crossout. Today we have some pretty exciting news because it seems like there will be some pretty drastic changes to some weapons in the upcoming patches that we will see. This was posted on the forums under a sneak peek at the future balance tweaks to cross out. I will link this entire post in the uh, comment section down below this video. So don't stress it if you cannot find it yourself. It is right there if you want to hear about it. But there are like three major things that we're here to look at today. And all of them are changes that in my opinion, I think are going to challenge the current meta in a nice way. So definitely something that welcomes also something that I'm a bit bummed about, but it is what it is. Starting off with the most in probably some people's opinion, most welcome change is the fact that you can no longer run these triple cannon if it is what they make it sound like in this uh, forum post basically basically what they want to do is that they want to take all five energy cannons and make them six energy so that we get a unified energy consumption over all cannons in the game this means that for the prosecutor that we're running right here right now as well as the judge the avenger and the executioner those will all take up six energy that is a pretty basic change but a change that will unify cannons in the way that they consume energy compared to what they are doing at the moment. If we look at, for example, we don't even have the Fat Man. If we look at the little boy here, we go six energy. And it is the same if we go, whoops, not there. But if we go to the Scavengers and we look at the Hulk, which also takes up six energy as well as the Fat Man, six energy. At the moment, we only have Tsunami, Typhoon and Mammoth, uh, which goes to Relics or in the Mammoth, not really, because it's not a turret. It's not, it's not a fixed angle cannon. But the Tsunami and the Typhoon are six energy, but all of the fixed cannons below that is only five energy or are only five energy right now so that is definitely a change that we will see interesting change nevertheless i'm excited to see what this will do i am concerned about one thing at the moment if we go and ahead and if we slap on an execution into this let's just make sure that we don't have any bonus damage we don't have any bonus damage on this so if we slap that onto here and then we take the judge and we again we don't want any extra damage on it nice one there we go make sure that these are somewhat aligned are they aligned now they're still not aligned get back one there there we go. All right, they are pretty aligned now. So the executioner that slapped on there, the prosecutor there, and the judge, let's put that on the shift button. What? I just messed that up. There we go. Beautiful. Executioner left. There we go. There we go. So we actually want to run them in the opposite direction. <laughs> Bam. 85. And then 115. And then... 163 so we're seeing around 60 damage more per shot on these but if we then go to the tsunami and the skull to beat here is 163 so if we take this and we go up here and shoot the cabin once more because do note here that the base damage of these will be different so 202 so we're getting about 40 damage extra on this one um this is quite interesting then because if we take just slab on dual tsunamis onto this one it's going to be mildly overweight but what we want to look at here is the base damage and the reason that we want to look at the base damage of a full set of these guns is because that these will be relevant 404 on the tsunami because these will be relevant for the next change that it is also coming and let's see we probably have to move that one out just one more and then the executioner there and can we get that one down there? Nice. Okay, they're not really aligned, but it doesn't matter. It serves a purpose, just or it serves our purpose, just fine. So 404 on that one. And then we should go for the triple executioner. As you can see, the triple executioner is actually higher. Why does this happen? Well, that is a very good question. Well, first of all, we're using 15 energy. So 15 energy will be something that, you know, 
should deal more damage compared to 12 when we're this close in rarities because we are losing some energy that we can use on utilities so for example on this hover we don't get to use a cloak if we want to use an engine but with the tsunamis we get to use a cloak and we get to use a dobber and we get to use a verifier all of those things so you have more utility and that will cause you some damage but should it be that way in my opinion probably not and that's why i also think that we are seeing these become more unified now because at the end of the day three epic weapons that also has a really really good perk like the executioner perk is not to mess with that one is actually so deadly because it penetrates a full layer of armor or is it two it actually i think it's 80 centimeters so around yep 80 centimeters so around two and a half layers of armor it penetrates in just one shot so the explosion happens within builds especially with spaced armor or if you're trying to hide your explosive then the executioner has always been known to be really good at popping stuff like we just pop the ammo box is down here. What this means is, and the reason that I'm talking about perks is because the next step that they are, the next thing that they're talking about in this post is that many people know that a part of the damage caused by shooting from the executioner cannon is dealt when the projectile hits and part when it explodes. We're currently working to ensure that all guns deal damage in this way and redistribute how much damage the projectile will deal on contact and on explosion. Spoiler, the ratio of coals and tower cannons is planned to be different. Explosion radius may also change. So not only are we seeing changes to the way that we can make these builds, because again, executioner, triple executioner has a higher base damage than two tsunamis. We're also seeing changes to how explosions will work. I am personally right now more keen to believe that they will change the way that cannons which are not executioners or prosecutors and that we will see that tsunamis will probably deal damage in a way that the executioner does right now this might mean that we will see changes to explosion radiuses and stuff like that which is something we will have to look at and test when we get the new test servers which we hopefully will when because this this is a this is a rather drastic change so i'm definitely hoping that they will let us in on a test server just so that we can make sure that this will be tested thoroughly and we can play around with it and see what it feels like and give some feedback on it that would be very important in my opinion but i'm i'm i i honestly don't really know how i feel about this entire change and all it's uh all that we know about it so far because triple execution is also something it's basically what makes the execution viable for clan wars the fact that you can run it in a three cannon setup because you can squeeze that extra damage out of it and i don't know if it's damaging per se to the gameplay because if you throw three executioners onto this you still get power score that matches higher builds like for example a dual tsunami so they they would probably have to give the tsunamis a perk that would work similarly to the executioner just so that you would still feel like you're not missing out because i enjoy playing executioners in clan wars way more than i enjoy playing tsunamis for the sheer fact that you just hit those pop shots so much with the executioner but that brings us to another sort of thing that a lot of people will not be too happy about because will the typhoon then have two functionalities both a stun and a pop like this and will cannons be even more meta i honestly don't think we should even try to guesstimate the 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 impact on on bigger cannons as of right now because we don't know any numbers we don't know any damage numbers we don't know any penetration values we don't know any you know um what's it called i think it's actually just those two i wanted to talk about like the damage and the penetration on the guns but because before we know anything about that we can't really know if this change will be good or bad because for the tsunami one of the reasons that the tsunami right now deals not a lot of damage on base hits is because it has a perk that is to say the least quite useless like most people play them on hovers and you never get to charge the perk on hovers besides that you're gonna have to put yourself out of the battle for so long if you want to charge the tsunami perk making it simply not worth it to do so yeah maybe the tsunami will be more competitive compared to the typhoon but then again if they buff the typhoon equally then it's not going to be worth it or is it i don't know at the moment but it is definitely something that is interesting and i think it's something that we should keep an eye out for because it's a change that could potentially make cannons much more fun to play especially for tsunami players who cannot afford typhoons but it's also something that could break cannons even more so devs really really keep in mind when you do this don't break cannons even more because it's it's a meta weapon and it is 
is the most meta weapon that there are around right now. So just keep an eye out, okay? <laughs> the last thing that they mentioned in this dev, can we call it the dev block? I guess we can. It's, it's a sneak peek nevertheless. What they say is that we looked at the difficulties encountered when f the firing of weapons such as plasma emitters and pulse rifles. We plan to change their mechanics for firing it will be enough to hold the fire key uh that's a funny sentence we plan to change their mechanics for firing it will be enough to hold the fire key the weapon will automatically accumulate charge and fire this basically means that when you grab your favorite plasma emitter build be it helios synthesis or prometheus then you will no longer have to sit here and you know tap fire your guns whenever you feel the urge to shoot them you can simply hold it down and then the gun would theoretically shoot again it doesn't do it right now because the gun is not updated as of right now but that is def basically how they want to change pulse emitters or plasma emitters a very dangerous change in my opinion it's it's gonna make life so much easier but at the end of the day i think it's fine because helios has been taken out of the game this also means that i want to go back to the stage where they definitely shouldn't introduce a relic helios anytime soon because the helios is strong enough as is and i think if 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 they they add much more to it then it's going to be an even bigger pain than it is already this build is not done by the way that's why it just fell apart like that but we're definitely going to see the helios back in action and i think that's going to be very interesting to see they did welcome us with a bit of an easier cycle through them as you can see you can click quite early now and still have your helios cycle through their shots you couldn't do this before you would always have to if you click just a millisecond before the icon was white again then it would bug out some mouses were quite broken and allowed you to just hold the mouse down anyways i've heard of multiple people who encountered this where they could already just hold down their mouse button and the mouse would simply cycle through them without the use of macros that is so i think at the end of the day this also is a change that they are it's some steps that they're taking it's in order to prevent people from using macros because macros are uh, essentially something that a lot of people whip out whenever they are playing cross out sadly even though it's not allowed and just to clarify yes it will also affect our new weapons here the pulse accelerators is that the name that's that's the scorpion name what what are these called what is this this is a pulse rifle that was what i was trying to say but yes it will affect pulse rifles as well any weapon that you have to sit here and just you know absolutely spam tap fire will be made automatically these could also potentially be quite deadly because the damage on these weapons are actually quite respectable already and the damage is lowered as we take damage or the damage is heightened and it gets you know better and better i don't even know if i can make myself take damage there you go we, we got a little bit of a, a, a perk going on it right now as you can see it's still zero percent because we haven't really taken that much cabin damage but basically yeah these these weapons could potentially go and be quite strong as well when you can just hold down these now and just shoot them like no tomorrow all in all very interesting changes and some very nice quality of life changes which i think personally oh i, I felt fell down here a bit didn't i there we go much better much better <laughs> But some, some, some changes that I really think will affect the way that we play the game and the way that we see the game as of right now. So I welcome it and I hope you guys will too. And do leave your comments down below what you think about all of this. And I, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. So I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.